fucking god. And I said, dude, well, get over here and check it out. And he's like, oh, dude, yes. Oh, dude, yeah. And so he showed up and then he was asking for his hydro flask, which we need to give him a shout out for. Yeah, both of these guys. He's got the other hydro right there. Oh. Nah, 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 not Nick. <laughs> he's, he's getting a whole episode already. <laughs> <laughs> and he was on the first one, too. That shit was rigged. That's what that Blue was saying. Was Bro, it was rigged. When I saw it chose one, I'm like, what the fuck? Bro, honestly, it wasn't rigged. I, I showed this dude how I did it. It literally just worked out that way. But Misa was like, we should rig it. Fuck no. <laughs> dude, Misa said, he's like, you should rig it, dude. Just like, give it to Nick. Side, yeah, well, he was the only one really, like, like, um. Yeah, no one was with fucking it. with me. Yeah, because Misa was like, just give it I to I was about Nick. to tell Nick to shut up and let somebody else ask a question. <laughs> <laughs> oh, because I'm trying to get I'm trying to get everyone like into the mood, you know? Yeah, yeah, dude. Yeah. And um You're like, no that's good though, man. You kept it going, dude. But I was I told Chris, I was like, you know what? Fuck it, dude. Just Nick, give it to, me, give it to dude. Nick and he's like, Well, it landed on Nick, and I was like, Bullshit. I mean, it's just fine. <laughs> I swear to God. He's like, I swear, I swear, I'll show you. And I was like, How are you gonna show me? There was only seven people and it chose number one out of seven numbers. So that's it. All right, you ready? You still? <clears throat> yeah, yeah. All right, hold on. Hey, we got some good stories to tell, bro. This is going to be a good one. Hey, hey tell, you hear that? Yeah, tell your kid that. Dude, it's because there's. I'm, I'm on my patio and there's people in the pool. I guess somebody got hurt. That's okay, I'm a lifeguard. <laughs> Went in wild, bro. Rio Grande, jump over. <laughs> They're still doing that, no? Like tubing? I don't know. They were doing That's their wild. Thing. I don't know why. That's <laughs> really unhealthy to tube in there. You saw me last time. All right, you it's guys ready? Cool. How the fuck are you going to get back? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, dude. <laughs> But he's least though. Okay. Let's do it. All right. Uh, test recording real fast. Meet to say something. Yo, yo, yo. What up? Crystal, little bitch. Drinking water from a can. Shout out to Blue. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Blue. He's looking blue. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> yeah. Hey, he already knew. Yeah. <laughs> Chicken stew. <laughs> I said, shout out to my boy, Blue. He looking blue. He looked like he got some glue somewhere on his shoe. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Chris, shut up, Chris. Here. Right. That right. shit hasn't even started, but you're gonna you're gonna need to walk away for right now, dog. Off. Picking you off the podcast for five minutes. All right, let me go back and listen to this real fast. Man, I want some beer to eat. Well, go get some real quick. Before time, maybe you can show up halfway through. Let's get it. Get it! All right, okay, I'm going to go over. I'm going to take at least 40. 20 and 20? 40. 45. What? 45. Trying oh, to stop. Yeah. Hey, let's do the map, dude. You have a pen? <laughs> oh here, I got a pen right here. All right, it works. Hey, hold on, hold on. Oh, no. Oh. We're doing mathematics here, dog. Big boy shit. <laughs> so how long does it take to go from here to your house? Twenty minutes. All right, do that. I'm not gonna do this shit. <laughs> it's too many numbers. All right, let's do it. One number. I'm done. <laughs> that was two, bro. All right, you Fucking ready? Curious. Go back to school, bitch. I'm still in school, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> well, drop out, dude, because you got you got drop go out and then go back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Bye. he All gets right. me. Let's do it. Right. You ready? <laughs> yeah, I guess let's do it. Three, two, one. What is up, everyone? Welcome back to Conversing with Chris and Misa, the podcast. Today is July third, twenty twenty. It is approximately what time is it? It's approximately 3.45 in the p.m. on a nice hot day in El Paso, Texas. Uh, today, guys, once again, <laughs> I'm joined by uh, producer of the podcast, Lena. Say what's up. Hi, hello. 
Also today with me, guys, uh, Misa's here. Misa, say what's up. Yo, 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 what it do, what it do, what it do. Hey. And also, guys, to help us on episode 33 of Conversing with Chris and Misa, the podcast, we have a very special guest, uh, his friend, or his friend. His name is Nicky Noho. Say what's up, Nick. Yo, yo, what's good? So, Hi, Nick. Nick. <clears throat> for, for you guys that don't know who Nick is, um, he's a friend of the podcast. He's been on the podcast before. He was actually on the very first episode of Conversing with Chris, the podcast. Uh, so if you guys want to go check out how terrible of an episode that was, go back to episode number <laughs> one of this and check that out. And then he was also on episode number 10, um, which we we did like probably two months after that episode. So go check that shit out, guys, if, if you want to. Uh, also, guys, make sure to subscribe to us on YouTube, follow us on Facebook, and like our Instagram page, or the other way around, like us on Facebook, follow us on Instagram. Uh, shout out to our boy, Blue, who's actually in the, he's in, an audience member today, so shout out yeah, to Yeah, yeah, you want to say a shout out, Blue? Still, what's up, Blue? Yo, 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 yo. <laughs> Bro, he, you know that, that game at Peter Piper, the whack-a-mole game? Like, his head came through just like that. Like just, <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. So let's get into this podcast. Uh, Nick, uh, for the people who do, don't know who you are, go ahead and inter- introduce yourself to the pod. Let them know what's up. Uh, um, yeah, my name's Nick. I uh, grew up here. I actually just uh, came back for the weekend uh, just to visit my dad. Where are you from? From here, from EP. <laughs> Yeah, but where are you I'm living San, right now? I'm in San Antonio right now. Oh, San Antonio. Yeah, yeah, yes. Sounds days. like San Antonio. <laughs> yeah, dude. So uh, I actually just came down to surprise my dad for his birthday. Oh, nice, man. Happy birthday to your dad. Yeah, hey, yeah. Uh, shout out. Uh, Mike. Happy Mike. birthday Mikey. to you. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> Sound like that. Happy birthday. Dear Mikey, <laughs> happy birthday to you. Yay. Yay. There we go. Okay. That was fucking terrible. Um, yeah. That was a bad rendition of happy birthday, but shout out to you, Uncle Mike. Happy, happy birthday. birthday to you. Uh, happy birthday to my little nephew, Zachary. Um, everybody has birthdays in July. My grandma's birthday is coming up. My birthday is coming up. Next birthday's coming up. Father, Danny. <laughs> Danny's birthday. My birthday's up. coming up. Shout Derek's Derek. coming up. Everybody's coming my up in July. <laughs> When's my birthday's, birthday's coming up. Again? Your birthday, Misa? November 1st. <laughs> it's coming up in like four months. Hey, it's coming up, though. Hey, that's true. Right? It's very much coming up. It's very much not coming down. It's very much coming up. <laughs> so that's true. So, guys, um, we're going to do what we normally do on this podcast. It's a tradition unlike any other. We're going to crack this celebratory beer here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no one's coming. Oh. Ah. Oh. 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 Jesus. Constipation. I never better. thought water would sound that great. <laughs> that, one, that one was a little rough, man. I'm not going to lie. So um, go ahead and tell us, uh, Nick, real fast, what you're doing out there in San Antonio. What made you move over there? Uh, right now, I'm actually working for a communication and networking company. But I'm on for a low. So I'm just chilling at home right now. Hey, he's getting paid more than us just to chill, yeah, dude. I'm actually cashing out um, too. How much? How much, are they, how much are they giving you right now? Just, uh, just if you, just if you want to disclose that. Uh, a little over two grand every two weeks. Damn, bro. What? The fuck? Yeah, so what? Cash and checks. You know. All cash, huh? All cash. In a suitcase. Uh, direct deposit, sir. <laughs> yeah, dude. Oh, that's there crazy. So let me get this straight. You get paid to hang out with your dog and work out and eat healthy. Yup. That's basically it. And play PlayStation. Fucking life. That's it. Wow. Yeah. I've been doing the wrong shit this whole time. Oh, uh, dude. We've been <laughs> I've been teaching my kids the wrong <laughs> thing. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. That's true. So, guys, um, one, one thing we wanted to talk about on this podcast is if you guys joined us on our last Facebook Live, um, we had a little thing where people uh, were instructed to go do a rate and review on our Apple podcast page. And everybody who participated would be ins- inserted into a raffle. And we had another hydro flask that we gave away. 
Uh, Nick was actually the winner of that hydro flask. Um, so shout out to Nick. Go ahead and uh, describe go, and describe yeah. what it is that you have in your hand right there. <clears throat> it's like a, a Yeti type glass, gold. Oh yeah, it's gold plated. Beautiful. That's what the fit. <laughs> shout out. <laughs> shout, shout he got a match with the fit. Shout out to Blue. He also had won a previous little competition where. Um, we had him. We had to. We asked the podcast to go find um, where in the episodes where I did a, a Metallica impression, and Blue was able to locate it and sent it over to us. And so he also got himself a hydro flask, the same thing as Nick's, but I think his is a silver plated one. Yeah, um, he's got it right here. Yeah, he got it right here. <laughs> yeah, he's using it right here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I got some. I got some Mike Hard lemonade right here. Nice, dude. I, and so for sure, that shit's going to keep that shit extra cold. So uh, I just want to take the time to personally thank you guys both for supporting our podcast. Uh, you guys are always there listening to us. You guys really do help support us and, and spread the, the podcast to people you know. So thank you guys for that. Round of applause to Nick and Blue. You got any words for these guys, Misa? Yeah, good job. Keep it, keep it coming, guys. Shit. <laughs> I'll try and find another gift. I'll buy you guys lunch, take you out on a date after all this shit's over for sure. He'll take you to Wing Daddy's if you guys want. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah, so those are some uh, little thoughts we wanted to give on the podcast. I wanted to ask Nick, um, because he's been a part of this podcast since the very beginning, if he had any thoughts on what the podcast has turned into now with the addition of Misa. Uh, any, any, any thoughts that you can give us, Nick, on that? I think it's legit now. Just the way you, guys, <laughs> you hear that, Chris? <laughs> just the way you guys are marketing yourselves, you know? Like the Twitter, yeah. the the YouTube, all that, dude. Like, like it, it makes a difference, you know. And you, you get your name out there. What's your uh, favorite part of the podcast? What would you say is your favorite? Uh, I like the questions at the end. <laughs> okay. Hell yeah, 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 yeah. It's pretty fun, man. <laughs> at the end, you know, you get a you get a taste of who the person is, you know, and like what they think. And I think that's cool. Hey, bro, we got some uh, we got some questions at the end for you. <laughs> Boy, do we. Also, guys, we're also going to do a, a new segment to the podcast. It's going to be the Who Knows Chris Best segment, um, where we're going to pit Nick and Lena against each other to see <laughs> who knows me the best. A little background, guys. Me and Lena have been dating for eight years now, and me and Nick are literally like brothers. Like, we grew up together. We're five years apart. I've spent more time with this guy probably than anybody else in my life. Um, so if anybody knows me here, it's these two. And I have some questions for them that <laughs> I'm going to ask them. And then Misa, you're just going to commentate on the side. You're going to be like the play-by-play. -play. Yeah, Chris, because I don't even think you no. know yourself, dude. No, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> even when I, <laughs> This is going to be good. I'm ready. <laughs> when I was coming up with these questions, I was like, dude. <laughs> you had to you had to ask them questions that you knew yeah, the was, answer to first. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. the questions are gonna be real easy, but um it's gonna be <laughs> it's gonna be a cool little game to play, I think. And then if Lena loses, me and her are gonna break up like completely. <laughs> <laughs> so there's that on the line. No pressure, guys. <laughs> <laughs> me, so, so. Jesus, that's harsh, man. This is like some Jerry Springer kind of shit. You already All took right. my key. <laughs> All right, guys. So <laughs> he already took my keys. Yeah. Change the locks. <laughs> Change the locks already. Um, so let's get into this. Uh, we're going to start with the kicking things off segment, as always, guys. Uh, we're going to go around the virtual Zoom meeting here, and uh, we're going to you know, say what's new with us, and we'll start with myself this time. Um, so, guys, uh, I recently found out I was possibly exposed to somebody who had tested positive with COVID-19. And so as a precaution, um, you know, I made the people around me aware, uh, my work, <coughs> uh, people that I'm with all the time. And I actually went and got tested. And this was already like, this was last Thursday. We're recording this on a Friday, last Wednesday. last Wednesday. So we're recording this on a Friday. So it's been over a week. And I literally like 10 minutes before we went on live on this podcast, I got the test results back and I came back negative for COVID-19. So shout out to that. Yes, yes, dude. Yes. Hey, but how was it? How was, how did they give you that test? Yeah, well, I'm going to talk to you guys about the test because that's the main reason I brought this up. But you got big ass nostrils. Um, it's perfect. Also, Lena had 
had to get tested too. She also came Me back too. negative, um, so that's test. good. Um, but yeah, so right. what they do is, yeah, those videos you see of them sticking that long swag up your nose, that's literally how they test you. Um, depending on where you use a plunger on your ass, huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. Uh, they stick it up your nose really fast, and it doesn't hurt that much, but what it does is it makes you feel really uncomfortable to have something go that far up your nose. So, like, my eyes started watering all crazy, and then I started, like, coughing, and the guy was like, are you all right, dude? And I was like, yeah, dude, you guys just stuck this big ass thing <laughs> in my nose. Like, sorry, like, give me some time here. Shit, you know? Um, yeah. <laughs> So I'm glad I came back negative. So that's what's new with me, guys. I'm gonna throw it to Misa. What's new with you? Um, dude, really nothing much. It's been a minute since we've uh, recorded. When was the last time we recorded? I can't remember. But yeah. um, but actually, uh, I got a call from a friend earlier, and um, maybe we could talk about it an another time. But um, this dude got like blackmailed by this chick that he met online. He just met her, and, and, and the whole story was, like, I guess it's just added each other. I don't know what, I forgot what, what social media it was. But um, they started, you know, messaging, and it started getting pretty kinky really fast, he told me. <laughs> so like, bro, I didn't even know her name, but she had my pants down already and shit, you know? And like, oh, damn, dude, like. Jesus. So they, they exchanged, I guess they exchanged pictures or videos or whatever, and then um, next thing you know, she sent him a message kind of, like, um stay calm but um if you don't send me this much money i'm gonna i'm gonna post this everywhere and your family's gonna <laughs> see this <laughs> Dude, and, and you know what hold on real fast let me ask you where did you say this where where did he meet this chick on what somewhere social? online dude okay i don't know what matter on, on fucking pornhub or something dude no he, he called that. us he called uh, us this morning i can't remember what the, what it was really early this morning <laughs> but I was just it, that uh, that shit was just hilarious. But man, he was telling me she was just like, like, yeah. like if she had all these messages already, like, like ready to go, like for every answer and stuff like that. And I was like, dude, that's what that's what that's what girls do now for a living. And it, it probably wasn't even a dude, a girl, you know, like it's probably some dude, you know, named Chris sitting at his house on his day off and shit. <laughs> <laughs> on his leave time from work because he had to go get COVID testing, so he started cat. Yeah, <laughs> make some money. But <laughs> but yeah, dude, uh, it just made me realize, man, like how it's just nowadays, it's just how anybody's just trying to make a buck. Yep. You know, <laughs> dirty, dirty money you be, out there. Uh, you gotta be smart on the internet, bro. It's a it's like a black yeah. market. So, Lena, what's new with you? Oh no, I was just gonna say, I get calls like for the past two weeks. They're like your social security number and blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, fuck you. And I hang up, but it's still like, if you're not educated on that type of like scams, like if you're older, they're going to fall for it. They're going to be like, Oh shit, what do I do? What's next? Like, you know? Yeah. Um, oh my God. <laughs> what's my new wiener, with me? My grandma, no. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> or like if they're kidnapped, you know what I mean? Like people are going to be like, fuck you have so-and-so like I'll take out whatever money you need to like secure that person's safety, you know? So it's really, it's fucked up to exploit people like that, but people will do it. Um, America. Yeah, right? America. Capitalism. Honestly, just the same thing as Chris. We've been isolating, kind of chilling back because we just weren't really sure. I got <laughs> his face. Uh, I got my results and mine were negative as well, but it's definitely, it's uncomfortable, but it's like mummification type shit. Like you don't think how far it can go up there till it's there you know like scratching well, that itch in the back of your head that you've always had and you can't get the oh. forehead yeah pretty much i mean i understand like why they have to do it but it's just i don't know like you don't expect it to feel the way that it does until you're experiencing it yeah. you know what i mean yeah, I'll, I'll probably just have like a natural reaction and slap whoever's doing that to me that's oh, what i thought knock I, about. I thought i was gonna be yeah. like <laughs> with it, you know what I mean? i'd be like nah get that shit out my nose homie <laughs> <laughs> hey, you gotta take me out on the drink first. Yeah, start flinching all crazy when he gets <clears throat> near you. He's just like, "Whoa, dude, I'm trying to do my." Thing. All right, Nick, what's new with you, dude? Uh, like I said earlier, I just drove into town. Uh, yeah, nothing much, man. Just been chilling, and not working. Well, what are your plans for your, while you're here, man? Uh, no, just hang out with the family, bro. 
See, uh, see some friends. Everything's closed, man. You came at the wrong time. You should have told your dad to pick another birthday. I had to postpone your birthday, bro. <laughs> nah, but yeah, dude, it was the only one available, I guess. Yeah. Uh, nah, and uh, also, I started school Monday. Doing some summer classes. Yes. Yeah, so, school yeah. for not, not too much, man. <laughs> hey, so real fast, just because I know these dudes and lived in San Antonio. So where in San Antonio are you living at? Like, what's the area called? Medical Center. Did you live over there? Yeah, yeah, that's where we lived. All right. So Me and Blue used to live around there. Uh, what was the street name? Fairhaven. Fairhaven. Yeah, I've never heard of that. <laughs> <laughs> right on, like, Medical Street? Nah, or I live, like, right off of Fredericksburg. Oh, I didn't even know where that is. Yeah, bro. Forte, <laughs> Forte uh, Fredericksburg, and Cali. By the Whataburger? Nah, there's, like, a Chacho's right <laughs> there. <laughs> <laughs> there's a there's a Whataburger everywhere, so I was like, dude, Whataburger. Whataburger is everywhere over there. <laughs> Quickie stop. Okay, so I thought you guys might have had some, you know, like knowledge of the area. But <laughs> but apparently, yeah, no. No. <laughs> no. Dude, so, hey, in San Antonio, you just gotta stick to your block, and that's it. I right. you know, Damn, bro, San Antonio is like that's that. where I, that's where I came from. <laughs> Spent like a year. Spent yeah. like a year. Yeah. What? And then <clears throat> you stuck to your block, and your block burned down. So then you went home. <laughs> yeah, dude. That shit was too fire, so I had to go. <laughs> that shit was too fire. All right, so me and uh, me and Nick, like I said earlier, we're we're like brothers. We grew up together. Um, I'm gonna tell a few stories, um, story time with Chris, if you will. Uh, that's what this segment's gonna be called. Um, so me and Nick are five years apart, right? So I'm just gonna help set the scene, give you guys some context. <laughs> For this story I'm Dude, about to tell you. I would have said probably 10. Uh, we're literally five years <laughs> apart. Yeah. And they're, four, they're both born in July. <laughs> so one time, guys, when Nick was probably like, I would say like a small infant, maybe like six or seven months old. Um, we, we, were at his apart, we were at his apartment. Well, not his apartment because he's a six-month-old baby, so you know he doesn't. Yeah, he's, he's <laughs> hey, you never know, man. He was, you never know, <laughs> right? Twenty twenty. <laughs> um, so I don't know why, but he's laying on the floor, right? Like just a baby on the floor, as innocent as can be. And then, I don't know, him there. bro, what am I doing on the floor? <laughs> I'm a fucking little baby, and I'm on the floor. I don't know. Maybe that's how they had you. Then you have like a little bowl of food and water next to you or something. Uh. <laughs> So he's he's on the floor, right? And I was there with him. And uh, my aunt, which is his mom, was there. She was, like, watching us at the time. And for some reason, I thought it was a good idea to go ahead and step on this guy who has a six-month-old baby. <laughs> oh, my God, Chris. And I remember this because I got in a lot of trouble, but I don't know why I did it. So he was on the floor, and I <laughs> stepped on him. And I think I did it, like, a few times because I got caught at some point. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that's the first I'm ever hearing this. Oh you know God. what I mean? He's like, "Got uh, funny once, and your mom got pissed." But I'm well, a few times. Nick's like, yeah. Nick's like, no wonder I've never been able to walk. Uh, I got, I got like bad <laughs> problems and shit. It makes sense. So I got caught, and his mom starts freaking out, obviously, because I, by the, I'm a five year old kid, so you know I'm not little. How, how big were you, Chris? That's what I want to know. I mean, I was probably like forty pounds. Like, I mean, I don't know, but, but I mean, still, dude, baby, like. This guy is six months old, so I'm there stepping <laughs> on him. And then uh, his mom sees all this. She starts oh, fucking God. panicking, bro. She starts, like, crying and going into, like, a nervous breakdown. And then uh, she rushes us over to my grandma's house. And they're like, what's wrong with you? And she bathes me in, like, holy water because she thinks I'm, like, a <laughs> terrible kid now. Oh, you know what I mean? Because I just oh, step on like a little baby. And then, yeah, dude, it's, that's just, like, one memory, like, I'll never forget, dude. Like, I don't know why I did that. It was crazy. Hey, how many babies have you stepped on before him? I, he's um, the, f the first and only baby I've ever stepped on. Dude. That oh, we know wow, of. No, Sorry no. to hear that, Nick. Dude, no, you should have won more than that uh, hydro flask. Yo, don't let him babysit your kids. <laughs> Whatever you do, don't, <laughs> don't let have kids, your kids. kids. I'm definitely rethinking the kids in our future. Yeah, I don't think yeah. I'm going to have kids. But yeah. that's just one story that I always remember, dude. I don't know But why. at the same time, who the hell's going to leave a baby on the floor? <laughs> Dude, right? Jesus. Hey, I'm saying, hey, Nick, but... you need to talk to your mom about that. Yo, but a few times this guy stepped on me. A few <laughs> times. <laughs> like, what the fuck? It's because Chris, Chris can't do shit right the first time. So he's right? like, no, no, I didn't like that. I was like, wait, I just stepped on him. Should I do it again? No, I was like, 
right, that felt squishy. Oh, see, now I'm really worried. <laughs> but yeah, that this was a long time ago, man. This was just something that like it, it, it always stuck with me. And like uh on the previous episodes where Nick had been on, we had never really talked about our like past and our childhood. Um so this was something I felt like needed to be brought up. And that way everybody can know <laughs> that, that you're crazy. I'm a crazy, terrible person. Do not leave a baby with me because I may or may not step on it. Public service announcement. Yes, I guess. And also don't leave your babies on the floor, people. Yeah, don't and put your babies on the floor. <laughs> and don't leave Man. babies on the floor because the floor gets stepped on and your baby <laughs> might get stepped on. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Okay, but my, time on purpose. my favorite one of you guys is the one that you told me about California. That's like the first story I ever heard about, Nick. Okay, we'll get into the California hot tub story here in a little bit. Cause that's hot a- tub? Yeah, there's a hot tub and there's a beach involved. So we'll get into that one right now. But um, another fu- fucking thing that me and Nick used to do all the time was, have you ever seen the Waterboy, Misa? Oh, I love that movie, dude. Okay, so what I'm going to have you do is go ahead and tell the audience what the movie's about, just in case there's nobody, there's somebody who hasn't seen the movie. Oh, who, me? Yeah, you. Oh, well, it's pretty much about this guy who's a mama's boy. Bobby and um, he's a water boy also, but he's always wanted to play football. And yeah. um, he ends up getting on the team, lying to his mom about it. But um, that's pretty much the whole story. He gets on it and he kicks ass and uh, and he's still the water boy too. <laughs> yeah. yeah, he doesn't let anything hold him back from his dreams. It's inspirational. Well, mama don't know. <laughs> well, nerd. So that movie, um, when me and Nick were little, was on repeat literally like – 24 7 365 though no joke well, like, what's your favorite part uh shit my favorite part would be when they right. when the girl comes over for the first time and they're eating like crocodile like they're grilling the crocodile right yeah. Yeah. and then they start talking about like oh bobby should play football and all this right and then um the mom gets all defensive and calling football the devil and then she's she <laughs> She brings down Bobby and's like, you know, he still wets the bed, right? And then he's like, yeah, that's the sheet right there. And they show his bed sheet hanging, <laughs> full of piss. Like, that, that, that to me is probably the funniest part, or the part you know that everybody knows the um, Amdula Ablangada with that's the right. crocodile, <laughs> and that. You know, the, and Adam Sandler or Bobby Boucher's uh, reference is that the crocodiles are mad because they have all these teeth and no toothbrush. You know what I mean? So that, to me, is one of the funniest parts of that movie. What about you, Misa? What's your funniest part of that movie? Um, man, there's, there's a lot, but w- the, the parts where it was just always cracked me up were, were those random parts where that guy was just yell out, like, like, ah, uh, oh, we suck! We suck again! <laughs> <laughs> Group hug in the showers. <laughs> we can do it. We can win. Um, yeah, and then also that one coach uh, that can't speak. He's like, oh, Farmer. Farmer Dan. Uh, or oh, yeah. But, yeah, he's funny. He's funny. Oh, when yeah. he speaks, he's like, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Remember that time Bobby Boucher went on that thing, thing, and on that? I love it. Yeah, dude. Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. What, guys, if you guys haven't seen The Water... Water boy, you guys need to go watch. That's that. an OG movie. Um, yeah. an I don't OG even show. like movies, and that movie's the shit. Honestly, I'm a really big Adam Sandler fan, so like, I mean, Water Boy, Water boy is cool. Don't get me wrong, but I fucked with Big Daddy way more than that. And I think it just like it. It depends like on your type of funny. You know what I mean? Yeah, because I there's not very many movies I'm not really really into that he does, but that one just I thought Big Daddy was funnier. Yeah. Wait, which one was first? Shit, I don't know. Cause dude, I was like three years old. Do you know which movie came out movies. first, Waterboy or Big Daddy? I feel like Waterboy came uh, out for sure. Waterboy came out first. Yeah, right? yeah. Yo, uh, Big Daddy's an awesome movie too. What's your favorite part yeah. from Waterboy, Nick? I think when they're in the classroom, and uh, he knows the answer, and the dude next to him's like, "Raise your hand," and he does it all <laughs> fucked up. Like he just did, like raising. Like, yeah, like, that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that movie's so. That movie's hilarious. Bro. But see, I like Happy Gilmore too. That's what I'm looking at right now. Okay, so Big oh. Daddy was 1999, and Waterboy had to be like 96. Well, I'm still looking. Hold on. 98. That's okay. Uh, you just you go. Suck? Yeah. Go. Okay. Okay. 1998. Okay, so a year apart. Great movies. 
great all around. Um, like I said, I don't even like movies, and I like a lot of those Adam Sandler <laughs> movies because it's hilarious. Yeah, man, those were what? Wait, I mean, we were like eight, nine years old when all those movies came out. Yeah, dude, yeah. that was like prime time. This guy was like four yeah. old. Yeah, like four, dude. Anger. <laughs> Getting stepped on by oh, Chris. It's just my dad. My dad would literally show us like all the badass movies, like every single badass movie. Like I, probably I think Happy Gilmore is my favorite. Definitely. Yeah. Fuck yeah. Do you have a favorite uh, Adam Sandler movie, Musa? Oh man, dude, it's it's between yeah, Happy Gilmore and, and The Water Boy, dude. <laughs> but see, because there's a, there's also that one movie where he he has that remote. Click, click, click. about this earlier. Click. <laughs> <laughs> Look, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> we talked about this movie earlier, and Lena's like, you know which movie I really didn't like. Spanglish and Flick. <laughs> and me and Nick. Flick. No, 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 no. You're not telling it right. Nick was like, yeah, yeah. And Chris like wasn't saying anything because he never pays attention. And then like I want to say a few minutes later, not a lot, <laughs> Nick's like, wait, did you mean Flick? <laughs> and I was like, fuck, you knew what I meant. Yes. Oh, 50 Flick. First Dates with Drew Barrymore. Nah, that's, that's a good one. Uh, no, uh, get uh, out of here. That's Come a on. good movie too. That's a good rom com. You know it. Well, I mean, I guess it's okay, but I mean, the idea of having to make this new this girl fall in love with you every single day, is it really worth it? God forbid. <laughs> it's exhausting. <laughs> it's exhausting. <laughs> Imagine that in real life. Like, let's be realistic here. Every That's dedication, day. man. I'm sure it's happened. You guys think I'm heartless? There's Chris. Bro, like, Savage. this guy doesn't No, have- no, that's, that's nothing, man. No. Dude, I mean, oh, I'm just Mr. being logical D's? about this. Oh, my God. Oh, Mr. D. Fuck yeah, crazy oh, eyes. Yeah. So okay, so Chuck and Larry. I know. What about that time where uh, what what's it what's it um? Hey. He's like some hairstylist, is he? A hairstylist. Oh, Zohan. Zohan, yeah, yeah. yeah. That movie's funny. I never saw that one actually. I would say Big Daddy is my favorite Adam Sandler movie. Yeah. That's the one I'm gonna go with. Uh, Big Daddy. So, um, let's keep this fucking podcast moving. I have another story I wanted to tell you guys about our boy Nick here. All right. <laughs> All right, guys, so let's set the scene. <laughs> it's uh, about 2009, right? Uh, I had just graduated high school. Nick's probably about 15 years old, 14 years old at the time. Um, our family sets off on a family, family road trip to Los Angeles, California to go to Disneyland and the wonderful magic of Disney, you know. It's all bullshit when you're older. It's, it's, not, it's not that fun when you're 18 or 14 going to Disneyland. Like, the rides yeah, suck. Like Cal- California. Waiting in line, like, at the DNV. No, this is worse because, like, you're there with a bunch you're of outside. kids. And, like, you're outside, and then everything there is expensive. Like, even if you want a water, it's, like, $25 for a water bottle. And then to throw it away is another 15 So it's just, like, you know what I mean? Like, they just fuck you all over the place. Um, but anyway, so we go <laughs> all over the place. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So let me set the scene for you guys. Uh, we had got in a hotel uh, on the beach in Anaheim, like real not- literally next to the beach. Like we had a walkway from the hotel that was straight to the beach. And then um, that day we went to Disneyland. Right. So our whole family was together. All the family went you know, to go do all the kids stuff, go take pictures with Mickey, go do all the Disneyland stuff. <laughs> Me, shit. Chris got a picture with Mickey. Yeah, me, me, and Nick, <laughs> me and Nick were like, I'm out, or we're out. So we we went off and did our own thing, right? And uh, we tried to go to California Adventure, and California Adventure was like closed or some shit for that time. So there was no cool rides for us, dude. So we were literally in there, bored as hell, like nothing to do, eating corn dogs, <laughs> eating corn dogs. Do we, we do. I kid you not, we had like 20 corn dogs. Yeah, we ate like 20 <laughs> corn dogs in there. <laughs> that's yeah, that's like a grand right there. Yeah, right? dude. That shit was fire, though. Yeah, they were. Anyway, <laughs> so this is what happened. Corn during, dogs. During the whole time that the family's at Disneyland, me and Nick eventually end up sneaking out of the park. Maybe not even sneaking out because they didn't really <laughs> care out. where we were. So we dipped out of Disneyland. <laughs> we uh, didn't have a car or anything, so we got a taxi. Um, we. No. Yeah, we drove, we got taxi. Dude. The taxi cost like $57, dude, by the way, for like two seconds. <laughs> and we went all the way to a gas station. And eventually I was able to, to get somebody to buy us some beer. And we're both <laughs> underage. 
but it's California it. and you know what I mean? Like things happen. So some guy bought us some beer. So, you know, we start, you know, nothing crazy. We just start hanging out, drinking, and we we ended up walking back to Disneyland so that we would have time to drink the beer, right? And uh we uh also had like some little like the little plastic shooter bottles. So we took those also for later and we cruise all the way back to Disneyland walking. It takes us like two hours probably because we were just like bullshitting. You know, we didn't have anywhere to go. And, and this whole time, your parents were like, no, like, yo, what ride are you guys at? Oh, dude, they didn't. Uh, no, dude, they want another yeah, corn dog. They were fine. No, dude. You guys want another corn dog? They literally just gave us money and we're like, here, dude, we'll dude. see you guys at eight o'clock tonight. Like, <laughs> we'll, we'll meet for the fireworks show and that's it. You Good know? fucking luck. So we literally, this, we dipped the clock from the park at like two o'clock and we didn't make it back there to around like four or five, whatever. And, but at the whole, the, the whole time we're drinking, this guy's 14 years old. Nah, so dude, he, I was like 12. <laughs> yeah. Dude, he was, was like little. 12, dude. Dude. <laughs> you're five years apart. He was little. A dude. 12 year old drinking. Yeah. Picture that. <laughs> first, Welcome then, to Disneyland. Make, yeah. <laughs> so he's drinking. We're both drinking and like, we make it back. Everything's fine. Uh, we meet with the family. <laughs> Nobody knows anything. Nobody can tell. <laughs> Everything's good. And then we we go back to the park. We have dinner. I'm imagining somewhere. And then we end up back at our hotel, right? And you know, same thing. All the family's getting ready to go to bed, and they're like, "You guys go do whatever you want." We, Nick, we hit the pool and uh, the hot tub, right? And we're sitting in the hot tub, bro. <laughs> and this guy's had like probably like three beers and maybe like half a shot, right? And we're sitting in the hot tub and I look at him and he's like crying almost. And then he's like, I feel like I'm going to die, bro. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, oh, okay. So not only that, but his little sister, Lexi, shout out to Lexi. She was with us too, but she didn't know what was going on. She was even smaller than this guy. Yo, and there was yeah. a couple too. But yeah. And then there's a couple there that was with us, but none, none of them know what's going on. Uh. Right. So <laughs> Nick says this, I feel like I'm going to die. So, like, the couple's like, you guys are weird. We're out of here. And then Lexi, his little sister's hanging out with us. And then I'm like, yo, go up there and get him. Like, we had, like, a Gatorade in the hotel room, like, on ice, like a nice red Gatorade all cold. And so Lexi goes up, grabs a Gatorade, and I give it to Nick, and he starts drinking it. And he drinks, like, halfway through, and he's like, all right, I think I'm good. And by this time, he's already outside of the hot tub, and he's, like, chilling. You know what I mean? Oh, you forgot a part. What part did I forget? Well, you got to help me out right, on yeah, this. So, like, um, so we're chilling in the hot, and I think that he just starts getting to me. And I get up, and I yeah. go to the restroom. Dude, I'm staring in the mirror, like, sweating and hyperventilating. And I'm like, yo, he's I'm going to die. He's having, like, a heat stroke and shit. Dude, I keep telling myself I'm going to die. Like, I'm like, yo, I'm going to fucking die, dude. Like, I'm faded, dude. And Imagine so, somebody, uh, like... Like in the stall, it's just listening to you, like a dog, you know, like <laughs> breathing hard, like I'm gonna die. Dude, it's Fuck like, you, I'm chipping out. And I walk back out, and I'm just chilling outside the hot tub. I'm like, I'm not going back in there. Yeah. So then that's when this that's dude cool. gets up and's like, Yo, let's go, let's go sit down on the beach. And I'm like, Fuck it, let's go, dude, let's go. I, I just need to chill. All right, so, 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 <laughs> so okay, we get up. Like I said, the hotel was right on the beach, so you literally walk from the pool through a gate and you're literally on the beach right so it's me nick and i don't even remember if lexi was with us at this point at uh, this point you said she wasn't uh, i don't think she was but it's just me and nick it's like 10 30 11 o'clock at night probably and we're sitting on the beach you know, on a dark ass beach there's no lights around and fucking i'm sitting there just looking at the beach just chilling and like nick's next to me but then i turn around and i realize he's not facing the beach <laughs> He, I'm facing the hotel. <laughs> He's facing the hotel. So his back is to the beach. His back yeah, is to back. the beach. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm like, dude, what's wrong? Uh -oh. like, like, look at the beach. And and then he's like, I can't, bro. I'm not gonna look over there, bro. I'm so scared of this shit, bro. He was tripping. <laughs> I can't. I'm like, <clears throat> I was like, you know what's out there, bro? Yeah. He's like, what's he's out like, there, dude? Yeah. He's I'm like, you don't know what's out there. You can't tell me that you know what's out there. I'm not going to look. Yo, we don't even know what's out there, bro. 
<laughs> and the worst part is I've seen that's a, that's a good thing. Though. I can just picture it perfectly. You Seriously. totally freaking dude. out, but as serious as can be. He was he was out, tripping dude. balls, dude, on the beach. And, he, and he's like, I'm not gonna look, bro. You're not gonna make me look. <laughs> You're not. Like, you don't know what's out there. You can't tell me what's out there. Can you? And this is like, all like, oh look, a boat. No, and I was oh, like, I was I like, dude, yeah, I don't know what's out there because I it's just water in yeah. an ocean, you know what I mean? Know, yeah. But yeah, dude, fucking Nick, he was tripping out. It was hilarious. You know what? I think that my favorite part about that experience was the bus ride from Disney to our like parking spot because like we're with all our family, dude, oh. and I'm faded and like they have no idea, dude, yeah. <laughs> like at all. Everybody thought everything was normal. Yeah, like everything, like we're just chilling. Like, oh my god, Nick is having a really good time in this vacation. Yeah, Whoa, why, yeah. oh. why is Nick smiling so much? Man, he really <laughs> loved looking Disneyland, man. That place was great. That little ride they had there, the whatever. You ride. had a whole Disney collection of like movies and shit when you got home. Add the Mickey ears. <laughs> uh, so okay. So anyway, that's enough with the California story. We do have another story or experience that uh, Nick got to share with us. So uh, a little more background on this one, guys. Um, if you don't know, um, Lena, or Malena <laughs> here, as we call her, um, she's actually from Moyarty, New Mexico, which is uh, outside of Albuquerque, through the Sandia Mountains. East um, of Albuquerque. So it's a small town vibe. It's not like living in El Paso. And one time that we went to visit, um, we actually took Nick over there with us like on a short notice. Um, so if you want, Nick, kind of just describe what Moyarty is like to the people who've never been there, if you can. <laughs> okay, so if you're from El Paso and you know Donovan Street, it's kind of like that. Yeah. I would, I would say so. I, I mean, it's just like one street through a little town. That's honestly what Donovan kind of is. Yeah. You know? I fucking hate Donovan. Yeah, you know? <laughs> yeah. yeah, so we took him over there to Moyarty where there's really nothing to do. There's not much to see. It's your typical small town USA. Like, you know what I mean? Nothing crazy about it. Um, so we went over there and that way he could get a sense more or less where Lena what, like is from. I had already been there before. So yeah, a um, times. I, I've been there a couple times, but the time we went, it was funny because we were there for like a whole weekend and we ended up chilling with like um, Lena's uh, uncles and her family. And <laughs> one of them was named Chicken. <laughs> the other one was named Hot Dog. So that was interesting to get to meet I those guys. I forgot about that. Yeah, of course. It's, okay, so... <clears throat> when... So Moyarty is... Yeah, it's really small. There's one elementary school, one middle school, and one high school. Essentially, like, the Edgewood area, the Tijeras area, which is, like, the mountains. So, like, when you leave Albuquerque and you're heading into Moyarty, there's going to be mountains in between. So you go through the mountains and that whole section, like that feeder school where those areas can go either to Albuquerque or they can go to Moyarty. So you like, it's a very small area population wise. It's like 1800 people. <laughs> yeah, dude. So two exits, oh, that's it. But Moyarty is a place where they would film like a, a scary movie, you know? Yeah, like, they filmed. Yeah, they filmed a couple things over there. <laughs> I mean, the funny thing is, is like I, so like where uh, Dorothy and my dad lived, Right across from them is where my grandparents lived, but when they passed, my cousin, which is the one they're talking about, his name is Chicken. His wife is named Kayla. They have two kids. But, like, in our family, we grew up with these nicknames. You know what I mean? So, like, we don't call Chicken Mark very often. Like, he's called Chicken. You know what I mean? And, like, same thing for his brother, Jeff. His nickname is Hot Dog. So, people don't call him Jeff. People call him Hot Dog. You know what I mean? Like, Growing up, like, this is just something that was, like, a part of our, like, family thing, tradition. But to be honest with you, a lot of people have nicknames where we're from. So we went to Moyarty to hang out with the chicken and the hot dog. For <laughs> I, I wonder how we got that, that yeah. name, you know? What like, would yours be, Nick? What would yours be? What would your nickname be? Your small time, your small town USA oh. nickname. Yeah, what would it be? I think like? someone else would have to give it to me. Okay, like, Misa, give him a small town USA <laughs> nickname, and I'll give you one, and then you, and then Nick will give me one. No, no, you give Nick Chris, one. I'll give Chris have, one. I already have Chris's one. He's already got mine. So yeah, you everybody's get... got Chris's one. And, and okay. actually, <laughs> the one that I had for Chris was one that Lena has said with Tanya: the bacon and eggs. <laughs> oh, the bacon yeah, and eggs. Nah, yeah. Yeah, oh, I got a few. 
I got a few. I, I got chip. <laughs> Sausage. Chip. chip. Chip or baby bird. Oh, my gosh. Little bird. Have you seen what a baby bird hatches? And his hair's all, like, messed up and shit? <laughs> that's, how Chris, that's how Chris is sometimes. I was, I was more thinking, like, him getting out of bed, out of his blankets and shit. And then just my little fucking his hair's head. All oh, fucked up. I know what I can show you. Baby right? bird. I feel like I feel like um, Misa's name would be like uh, shit. I don't even know. Suave. Suave. Yeah, something <laughs> something about his hair, like locks or some shit. Head like, and shoulders. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, dude. That shit's hilarious. Mix, mix would be like backbreaker because fucking Chris probably broke it. Yeah. Look, oh, here's some. Bro. Here's some names from a Moyarty t-shirt, some nicknames just for okay, you guys' well, context. Okay, well, it's, it's when so, my grandpa died, we made shirts for the funeral, so. So one of them is Bubba. That's Robert. Typical, you know, small town USA name. <laughs> Other one, Doggy. So, oh, that that's name? Hot that's Dog. Oh, okay. And then uh, Chicken Hawk. That's Chicken, that's Mark. Pooh. Pooh. <laughs> and Christopher. And Porky. <laughs> Porky, that's, that's candy. I think that would be good for me, so Porky. Porky. Do you remember my cousin Candy though? <laughs> yeah. His name, his that's nickname's fun. Candy, but that's him. All right, guys. Ooh, Porky. Who so, do you think that one is? I have no idea who Sparky See, he is. He skipped a whole fucking section. Sparky, uh, Mini Me, Magdalena, yeah, Evie, and Yoli. Names. I bet, no. I'd be down to be Sparky. Spark, <laughs> Lena, Spark Lena's is. would be like like it, Lena's would dude, be something like dude, black coffee. Yeah. Black coffee. Lena's would be bland. <laughs> <laughs> no. Splenda. Mine was Magdalena. All right, so um, let's go ahead and take with no salt. <laughs> flavorless. Let's go ahead and take a, a quick break, guys. Uh, when we come back from the break, uh, we're gonna get into the Who Knows Chris best segment. Um, we also have our funniest things from the internet today, and our five random questions with our boy Nick that we'll get into. Um, so make sure you guys go follow us on Facebook, like our Instagram, subscribe to our uh, YouTube page. If you guys listen to us on Apple podcast, give us a five star review. You can give us a two or three star if you want, but I would prefer a five and then leave an actual review though. Like leave like a little like sentence or two on why you listen to the podcast. All that would be greatly appreciated. But yeah, guys, we're going to take a break. This is episode number 33. This is yeah, episode number 33, Conversing with Chris and Misa, the podcast. Um, we will be right back. Oh. Why are you taking a break? Because it's a we put break in there. Oh, okay. I don't one. always put the break. Yeah, it's in the notes. <clears throat> oh. Hey, Misa, where'd Blue go? The fucking chip. Chip. <clears throat> chip would be a good one. Chip, chip, chip. I think chip was the best one. All right, we're gonna stop this recording, guys. We'll be right back. Up and play it. Okay. Fucking <laughs> me, sir. Okay. Let's start this over. Okay, guys, we are back. Episode number thirty-three of Conversing with Chris and Misa, the podcast featuring our boy Nick Hinojos. Uh Thanks again for being on the podcast, <clears throat> man. Um, guys, make sure you go subscribe to our YouTube channel, um, where we'll, we will be uploading this whole episode, um, the live version of it on YouTube. So if you guys want to be able to see the visuals, it will be on YouTube. Uh, follow us on Instagram, like us on Facebook. Uh, we're on Spotify, Apple podcasts, uh, like rate review, subscribe, Nick, uh, how do you feel like this podcast is going so far? <clears throat> I think it's going good. It's been a minute since I've been on. Yeah. It's yeah. been a while, so, bro. Like, it's a good comeback. Months. So when I looked it up, I had written down, oh my goodness. So I looked it up in the first episode that you were on. Shit, where did it go? Episode number one. Yeah, it was back in September. Damn, that was a long yeah. time. Yeah, this yeah, podcast yeah. has come a long way. Yeah, Misa, okay. what are your thoughts on this pod so far before we get into this new segment? Oh, dude, so it's gone so far so good, man. Um, It's good to know Nick finally. He won a gift. Um, So we, we kind of deserve to know who the hell Nick is. <laughs> uh, at the same time nick i feel like I, I need to give you some advice and maybe think about hanging out with chris um Damn, just because you know he has stepped on you on purpose he's gotten you drunk at a very very young age <laughs> and, um, you never know man has he taken you to a strip club lately or anything like that don't go 
you know what? I've I've never actually taken them to a strip club, but I do. You know, now in in uh, retrospect, now that I'm able to look at it in hindsight, um, I do feel really bad, man. I feel like I corrupted this kid at a very young age. <laughs> You're the cousin point. that the family's like, no, you can't hang out with Chris. Like that's who he's become. Yeah, but then I'm also the cousin that all the cousins want to hang out with. They're like, yeah. yo, dude, I'm that's down true. to take it with you. Like everybody's down to hang out with me. Like I'm cool with all my cousins. Yeah, all your like twelve. And thirteen-year-old cousins right now are like, "Hey, I, I, let's get drunk. Let's call Chris or what?" Yeah, straight what up. Right now, like, dude? and that's what's weird is like how you get older and you shift into that, you know? Hey, I'm just I'm out here playing my role, baby. That's it. You know, I'm an actor. <laughs> Somebody's got to do it. I'm an actor in my movie. You know what I mean? I'm playing my role, so that's good. <laughs> so, okay, guys. So we have this new idea for this segment. It's called the "Who Knows Chris Best" segment between. Arguably, my little brother, he's not technically my little brother, but he literally is. Arguably. Basically, basically. No, fun fact, that's how he described, that's what you said. And I was like, really? You have a little brother? And he's like, okay, well, technically, he's not my little brother. Technically not. Yeah, but then, you know what I mean? But like, (laughs) right off the shoot, that's what he he said. Okay, so it's a game between my girlfriend of eight years and um, my little brother here to see who knows me best. (laughs) And these are five questions that I put together. Uh, Mies is going to hang out in the background and he's going to commentate, you know, and then he's going to come yeah, in at yeah. the end. And uh, hey, real quick, real quick, put just to make things clear, house. just to make things clear, man, I, I seriously thought you were Lena's girlfriend. But all right, <laughs> <never mind>. He <laughs> is. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you guys. You guys are assholes. I was trying to think of what I was like, wait, did I say something wrong? And now I get what you guys are fucking doing. You know what I mean? <laughs> Fuck you. So get out of here. Uh, ah. Hey, your uncle's back, bro. He's back. Uh, 23. I thought he got deported, dude. We got it, like, we got this letter from uh, Border Patrol. Uh, I got him so in immigration. We got lawyer. your uncle. Yeah, uh, we got him I guess I got, got another one. <laughs> I got him an immigration lawyer, and uh, you know we'll be handling our proceedings accordingly. So tell him not to worry about anything. So <laughs> let's get into these uh, to these questions, guys. And there's six questions. I had a hard time writing these questions, actually, because, you know, if you think about it, I'm trying to make this game as fair as possible to both of them. And I don't want there to be any bias, even though there probably will be. Um, But I'm interested in to see how this goes. So question number one. Everybody knows I like to play video games, right? Can we agree to that, guys? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Other than the game FIFA, so FIFA is excluded. Uh, what is my favorite video game? Oh. Lena, you go for it. Nick, you go first. <clears throat> hey, man, besides FIFA? Besides FIFA, you can't say like FIFA. That, like, Fuck. that you like right now? Just favorite or video just in game. general. Just in general. Just in general. Halo? Okay, Lena, just answer. Madden? Let me see, you got an answer on this? <laughs> oh, you know what? On this one... I don't know how big of a Halo fan you were, but I mean, I know that you're a big football fan. So, with that being said, I think I think uh, I think Lena's gonna take this one just because you know uh, Madden continues to make new games. So um, I don't know. I'm gonna go with Madden. I think Lena, for once, got something right. But that was the uh, – there we go. Okay, so, yeah, actually, Halo's a crack. Yeah. Are you fucking yeah. kidding me? So, Nick got okay. that hey. The only reason I didn't say Halo was because you said it first. Really? Yeah. Oh. You can say Halo. And you guys can both say Halo. No. Yeah, she, do- she <laughs> totally just lied about that. She no. Total- no. She totally no. just lied you about that. Like, oh. hey, I got facts. Let me pull out the fucking bookmark. She totally just pulled that the out of her The first game he ever played the most – he said was Halo. That's why I'm saying that's what I thought. You know what I mean? So and they, the Halo two days? Dude, Whatever. Woo. The best days of my life. Best days. I learned to be a man on Xbox Live. Yo, Halo I was 2. the first one to get the Xbox and you would be at my house like every yeah, day. I was using you for oh, your yeah. Xbox back yeah. then. For sure. Okay, Misa, you ready for question two? Yeah, dude. Hell yeah. Okay. Halo, you kidding me? Pff, pathetic. All right, keep going. Like, get the fuck out of here before I kick you off this fucking podcast again, all right? Sick Shut up, Chris. Hurry up. Last time he was bashing steak pitos for no reason, Bro, asshole. You steak pitos. Don't get it started. You see how you bring up steak pitos? No, steak, steak pitos sucks. Yeah they, yeah, they can both go fucking yeah, play in fuck the off. desert. Go play in traffic, fuck both off. of you. Trash. Okay. <laughs> Question two, guys. Favorite <laughs> musical artist of all time? 
Oh, fuck. Fuck, y'all. Damn. That's a good one. Okay, I'm... I'm... Go first. Drake. Okay. Wink 182. Oh! Nisa, answer if you if you can. Shit, I don't know, dude. Good one. Yeah, that's a good one. Uh, you know, I'm not, I'm not gonna go with Lena no more. So Blink One Eighty Two. <laughs> I'm gonna go with Lena anymore. Yeah, Nick's right. Okay, so uh, Nick's answer was Blink One Eighty Two. Lena's answer was uh, Drake, and Lena is wrong again. So two nil. Hey, two for two. Two yeah. for two. By the way, guys, I I forgot to mention this, but uh, me, the relationship between me and Melena is on the line right now. <laughs> So if Nick wins, we are officially gonna break up. Wait, um, we get Lena's keys. Yeah. And, hey, uh, Nick, I'll, Nick, Nick. How do you feel about this pressure, though? Man, how I, do you feel that you're you're gonna be the one? I'm not pressured. <laughs> I'm in it to win it. Okay, so like I said, we have a life-altering uh, moment here on the line. Uh, if Lena <clears> loses, <throat> we are officially breaking up for like forever. It's just over. You know what I mean? <laughs> So, okay, question number three, guys. And this one is a layup. Hey, Lena's doing it on purpose now. <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> uh, okay, so look. Question three is a layup. It's literally a fastball right down the <clears throat> middle of a plate so everybody can fucking tee off on it. I don't know. It's been harder than we thought. You think? But Favorite think. beer? Ah, uh, Heineken. Ooh. <laughs> okay, answer. <laughs> That's a good one. Answer, uh, I mean, I'm just gonna say Bud Light. Okay, you Me, always drink that. Me sub. Yeah, I'm gonna go with Bud Light. You, you just always say like you always go with Bud Light. Okay, so Misa's answer is Bud Light. Nick also has Bud Light. Letta came in with Heineken. Uh, Nick and Misa. I knew it. You guys are wrong. Heineken would be my favorite beer. The only the only reason I don't drink it all the time job, is because props. how expensive it is. I got the most important one right. Yeah, but that's yeah, that one's true. <laughs> Yeah, that's only one, Lena. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> out of three. Get <laughs> out of here. You live with this guy. So, yeah, that's true. <laughs> okay, question number four. Favorite thing to eat, but not like, you can't just say chicken. Like, you got to be specific about it, you know? Favorite, oh, favorite thing to eat. I um, know what it is. I think so. I think let's it's... see, oh, Nick, shit. you go first. I'll let you go first. <clears throat> it's a chicken sandwich. Okay, okay. Lena. You want specifics? Uh, she has a restaurant and everything. <laughs> well, no, just like, just kind of like something like Nick said. Okay, I'll say chicken parm. Okay, uh, Misa. Oh man, I mean, you you probably have a lot more meals with Lena <laughs> than with Nick nowadays. So I'm gonna go with Lena on this one. Yeah, I think I'm gonna take the. Uh, okay, so um, the- Misa's siding with Melena, which Melena chose chicken parmesan. Nick chose um, a basic chicken sandwich. Doesn't really matter from where. Um, Misa and Lena, you guys are wrong. Oh, I didn't get that one. Yo, Nick is mopping her right now. I didn't fucking think I was going to get that one. I was hey, going to be fucking technical and be like a buffalo chicken sandwich. But what? then you were like, oh, come on. <laughs> no, you fucked me up on that. Hey, it's well, order. Yeah, hey. You could have just said chicken sandwich. You would have gotten it right. He said chicken sandwich already. I know, but you guys can say the same, the same thing. thing. You just fucked me up. Okay, we're this. restarting the whole game. No, <laughs> just kidding. Okay, <laughs> question number Just break up already, Nick. <laughs> 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 Give him the keys already. Question number five. Uh, what is my biggest pet peeve? Oh, yeah, I don't know that shit. Oh, oh, I know. I know. <laughs> Go, you're on the clock. Answer <laughs> Talking when you're trying to play music in the car. Okay. <clears throat> now that you heard it, huh? Yeah. I think just stupid people in traffic. Okay. That's I a, really oh, think that's a good one. He gets so pissed. He has like road rage. Good one. Misa. You got an answer here? Um, yeah, you know what? Probably the road rage. Okay. So I'm gonna go with Nick this time. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna keep going with Nick probably. Boys <laughs> for the for the boys. <laughs> okay, so for let us Letta said, um, people talking while I'm trying to play music in the car. Uh, Nick and Misa said, um, just bad drivers. Um, so, in this case, Nick and Misa, you guys are wrong. Damn. Yes! Look, trust me, I hate bad drivers, and I get pissed the fuck off because it's terrible. <laughs> and I literally, like, lose my shit. But you know what I can't stand? When I have a banger on. 
the people in the car are willingly disrespecting oh the banger gosh. and not only causing me anguish and anxiety and like discomfort, but I'm like, you guys are missing. I'm show. I'm gifting you this song and you guys are ignoring it and it's pissing me off. There's nothing worse than that, bro. There's like, there's times where our friends get in the car, right? I figured this out early where we, they get in the car and I'm talking to them. What's up? How you been? What are you doing? What'd you do today? Chris is literally turning the music up. Yes. To a Stop point where you can. Yes. 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 <laughs> yes. Here's my logic, dude. We're going to get to wherever we're going to go and we'll have plenty of time to talk. When we're in the car, can we listen to some music, please? Yeah. Don't be on your phone. Don't be like calling somebody like, dude, I, that shit drives me through the fucking roof. Like, you know I what, Chris? Wanna, I think the solution. I want to play bangers in my car. I'm not here. The solution talk. to that, Chris, is just drive by yourself. Nobody wants to hear you bitching about your music. <laughs> no, no one wants to hear you cry. Hey, well, I'm yeah. just saying, bro. That shit fucking. Yeah, but people do that. Like, they'll answer your phone, their phone, like, you know, like, middle of a badass song. Yes, dude. Yeah. That and is, talk over that it. That shit is disrespectful as hell. Oh, I'm like, dude, you, like, just tell them you'll call them back. We're going to be wherever we're going in five minutes. Just toss your phone. But there's, there's those kind of people, like my brother, man. My brother's kind of like you. But, Thank you. Shout out you to know, him. There, there's times where I, I, I need to answer my phone or something or a text. Okay, and my brother, what he'll do is he'll pause the song, and then he'll start it over when I'm done. Yes, yeah. yes, but oh, even, okay, over. but even that is an inconvenience, because now I got to wait for you and hear your bullshit conversation. <laughs> so like, yeah, yeah, babe, I put the enchiladas in the oven, they're there. I'm, I'm talking yeah. about text. Yeah, okay, well, yeah, send a text then, just whatever, don't <laughs> talk during the song, okay? I'm super sensitive about that part. Lena got that one correct. Question Thank number job, six, man. if I had to choose one of these for the rest of my life, which one would it be? Music, movies. Podcast or video games, and I'm talking about oh, to entertain shit. myself. That's oh, easy. So, Lena, go first. Well, yeah, music. Okay. Yeah, I got the same. Nick, Nick, you're going with music yeah. too. Yeah. Uh, Misa, what are you going with there? You know what, man? I would have said the podcast because we're in it to win it, right? No, 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 what? no, no, no. That's, hey. that's, no, that's why I'm. Like that. No, hold on. <laughs> Because if, well, if you're not thinking up. like that right now. No, no, then, no, 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 no. That's what I said. Yeah, we need somebody else. No, I said right when I said this question <laughs> to entertain myself, what am I going to use? Am I going to listen to a podcast? Am I going to listen to music? Am I going to play a video game? You know what I mean? I'm not saying like what I'm like doing with my life. I'm like, what is my go-to thing to entertain myself? That's what yeah. Well, I mean, I mean, if if your number one thing to do in life is to do a podcast, then of course a podcast would be something you'd want to listen to, forever. Yeah, yeah, thing. that's true. Yes, I guess. But, <laughs> but, but still, music is like I listen to. I listen to oh, music. So music is your answer. Is that what you're saying? Misa, Misa. Yeah. So Misa, you got that one. Dog. I think whatever. I wasn't even playing. Like, I wasn't even playing. Like. <laughs> I wasn't. Chris made like a impact in my music like preferences. Like Telling since you. we're oh, little. Yeah, like, since we're like since I could remember, honestly. Like Blink 182 years. Like all the Misa just listens I'm, to like Did you guys hear him freestyle at the beginning of this? <laughs> hey, I'm sorry, I haven't fucking rapped in a long, long time, but Misa's life motto is if it wasn't be recorded before nineteen seventy five, I'm not gonna listen to it. That's his life motto. There's so many bangers. <laughs> All right, guys. So, so that was the who knows Chris best segment. I Wait, think. You didn't answer the question. Was that a tie? You guys both it's got easy. it. Yeah, they tied. Yeah, so who okay, won? Okay. They tied. Oh, no, we're tied. So we need one more. A bonus. We need a bonus. Rig. Now they can't break up. I don't. Have, I don't have a bonus. I'm question. in this bitch Just now. Just something okay. random. Um. Oh. Let me think of something random, but that's not going to be easy for you guys. Um, okay, so what would be like my choice profession? What is like something I've always wanted oh, to be? That's easy too, man. Yeah, that's hey, hold on, hold on. How about this? Your if you could choose a sport to play for, okay, there you go. Oh, if you could play a sport, yeah, yeah. definitely, because you can't play any sports. That's oh. why we're saying, <laughs> what <laughs> ask us those questions. <laughs> Yeah, the same answers. Yeah, like if you ask Okay, well, let's see. Okay, so let's go with soccer. The sport, the sport soccer. 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 Okay. Soccer. So yeah. soccer is that one. What was the the other one? Was the profession? Well, sports now it'd be to get paid. Yeah, to get paid to do 
podcast. Podcasting yeah. slash sports but broadcaster yeah. for sure. You see? Okay, I think we're going to leave it as a tie. No. I can't think of any other questions. The, the other right, thing Chris, that we thought of. Chris, yeah. just, just think a number from 1 to 10 and see who gets the closest. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, yeah, I got my number. Okay, 1, one to Paper, 10. Paper, scissors, rock. There you go. <laughs> no, 1 to 10. 1 to 10. 2. 2. 6. <laughs> Let a guess the exact number. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, good job, man. Good job. Oh, shit. Hey, yeah, you know what, Lena? Good job, I guess. I guess. <laughs> All right, cool. I- so, guys, that was the Who Knows Chris Best segment. That was kind of fun to do. Uh, that was funny. Like it, even, Misa that was had, that was even Misa had some fucking answers right but in see, there. The I like thing, that. There you go. The funny thing is there was like yeah, three dude. solid three that we, we knew. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah. I kind of made it that way because I wanted you guys to be like, yeah, we both know this guy. We, you know? <laughs> okay, so next thing, guys, um, before we start wrapping up this podcast, what we're going to do now is we're going to do our funniest scenes from the internet today. Uh, we're going to go around the Zoom call here. Everybody's going to kind of show us a meme or something that they saw on the internet today that made them laugh. They're going to kind of describe it to the audience, okay? Uh, who wants to go first on this one? You got any takers? I'll go first. I'm ready. No go, Misa. All right, all right. Um, yeah, I saw this one on Facebook, man, and I follow this, like, dad page. <laughs> and it's showing, like, hilarious, like – dad memes that that actually like make sense you know that you go through and um well there's this one where there's this dad and this little kid and this kid's asking his dad dad how do i know if a girl likes me and this dad says i don't even know if your mom likes me <laughs> <laughs> and i thought that was hilarious Chris? <laughs> hey, that's a very relatable meme for sure that's the one i put on your facebook no no that's a different one. Oh, it was yeah, that's the one about the memes that she don't oh. like you, bro. She just likes your memes. Yes. Hold back. Yeah. I okay. was looking for Brienne because I can't find <laughs> so, you. So, Lena, you, got, you, you have your funniest scene from the, from the weekend, right? Okay. Or from the internet one? Yeah, so it's a man. He looks very stressed. He's looking out the window in anguish. He's looking at a reflection of himself, happy, holding a bag of pizza rolls. And the caption says, when you ate all the pizza rolls and then remember the good times of when you still had the pizza rolls. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> Let her love pizza, good. guys. I Let love pizza. pizza. Okay, Nick, you and me want to go on this one. <laughs> okay, I'll go on this one, guys. So um, this meme is a guy. He's Okay, so imagine you're in a kitchen setting, right? Um, there's a countertop, and on the countertop is a nice gourmet burger, right? Like a double patty, nice looking buns on it, and it's just sitting there perfectly, right? The guy is eye level with the burger, like he's like, like you know, like, like fucking positioning himself to be eye burger with it or eye level with the burger, and it says me, and then the burger says when the booty cheeks hang out the shorts, and oh. <laughs> the guy's just admiring that shit, bro. Like he's like, <laughs> oh, dude, oh, it's hilarious. The- the exact same reaction that you would to like a gourmet burger. Water yeah, the burger, like, like, like just looking at the burger, you want to eat it. It's juicy. <laughs> yeah. Just send it to me. Just a you juicy. Can't see it, Chris. Just send it to me. Oh, I know, I know. I'll send it to you. But yeah, just a juicy ass burger. The guy's in love. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> okay, Nick. All right, so mine. All right, so picture like a Facebook messenger, like the like when you get a message. All right, so this chick's name is Mella Frias. <laughs> So the dude sends Mela, and she sends a question mark, and he puts Mela Pelas. You know what, man? I had seen one like that before, but it was like this this girl. It's just some Asian girl, and, and her name was like like Shing something. And then some guys are like, hey, Shing. And then she's like, yeah, Shing got some madre. <laughs> Yo, that's a good one. All right. So, guys, those were our funniest scenes from the internet today. Um, the internet is a beautiful place at times and will give you glorious uh, comedic content if you allow it to. Um, before we wrap up the podcast, guys, we like to do this with all our guests. Uh, we like to bring them on here and ask them five random questions. <clears throat> And really just kind of get to know them a little bit better. Uh, so that's what we're going to do right now. Um, are you ready for this, Misa? Mm-hmm. Lena, are you ready for this? I was born ready. Nick, are you ready?
you ready? Let's do this. Okay, guys. So we're going to have our five random questions. Uh, question number one. If you could be a member of the opposite sex for, for a day, what's the first thing you would do? Yeah, that's a hard one. So what are you doing? Wow, if if you woke one. up tomorrow and you were a girl, what are you going to do first thing? Have a baby. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> we'll talk to Tanya about that shit. <laughs> I would go to the bar and probably try and like get as many body, free drinks honestly. as I can. You just check, yeah, I just check out. my body out. Like that's probably it. <laughs> Nick, would, <laughs> I'm Nick, yeah. Nick, I, would, Nick would spend like two hours in the bathroom just examining <laughs> himself. <laughs> Have you guys seen the drawing bridge? himself like like like, He's like uh, Jack did to Rose? Uh, hey, hold on, hold on, hold on. Have you seen what? The Grinch. Okay, what about it? Right before Jim Carrey's gonna go down to Whoville, he's like, ooh. Ah, that's how I picture Nick. Out, yeah, he's checking himself out and trying on different, co- not costumes, outfits. Hey, Misa, so I want to ask you this question, too. What would you do if you woke up as a girl tomorrow? Um, I don't know, dude. Probably go, I don't know. <laughs> uh, you got to say. I, I don't know. I'll probably, I'll probably try and rip somebody off. Like like they did to my friend or something. As someone, to okay. a guy. Try to first thing it did is like, oh my god, now I can send all these nudes. Okay, oh, yeah. yeah, start sending nudes. For... First thing you're gonna do, okay. <laughs> start up uh, OnlyFans. And only send nudes to myself to my own cell phone. Okay, just save them on my phone for later. So since she's the only girl on the podcast, what would you do if you woke up and you had a penis tomorrow? What any fucking girl would do, we'd stand and we'd take a piss. Okay. I guess yeah, that's a that's a good that's a good one. I don't think you guys understand. Like obviously our parts are different. It's so yeah. much more convenient oh, for really? you to just whip that stupid shit out, do your business and whip it back in. It's not that stupid easy. Shit out. You like that stupid <laughs> shit. Mercedes, Mercedes is like fascinated like fascinated about it. Yeah, She's like, yo, exactly. like you really like what is it that's how, yeah. Nah, and the thing, the thing that these girls don't understand is that, like, it takes work, you know? Like, yeah, they, they, they don't get it, dude. <laughs> shit, they don't heavy, get- you know, like, it hurts your back sometimes when you walk. You know, you got to okay. make sure you sit down okay. carefully. Fuck you. Know, you. Like, Try having boobs like, in a period like, and then yeah, fucking like, talk to me. And no, Lena, have you ever sat on the toilet and your dick touched the water? <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, that's a yeah. terrible feeling. Welcome yeah. to our life. Yeah, that's a terrible. Well, maybe it's my life. I don't know about Chris. Just, just the tip is just wet, and you're just like, yeah, it's just there, just swimming in there, like next yeah, to your turd. Shove cool. a fucking watermelon out of a hole. No. Have you ever been kicked in the balls? <laughs> <laughs> no. She has. She has. That's so mean. I don't know why people do that. I guess. <laughs> so that's kind of why. I, that's why I picked that question. That picture. That question was like made to give us some some good content right there. So. Question number two, uh, Nick, if you could write one law that everyone had to follow, what would it be? I don't know. It's kind of hard thinking about that one. One law. Like anything? Anything. anything. You know what? I'm tired of these Karens. <laughs> I am tired of them. I see a new video every day of a Karen. You know, if like you act like oh. that and there's some sort of proof, like, well, that's your law. Yeah, you know what? I re- I let those. You can't let name your child Karen? Dude, I would never ch- name my child Karen. <laughs> no more Karens in the world. Like, I feel bad for women that are named Karen right now. The thing that's like <laughs> funny about that, okay, it's not funny, but if you think about this, how long have people been saying Guadalupe, Maria, or fucking Shaquisha? Like, they've been racially profiling other ethnicities' names forever. And they get triggered. Now. Yeah, and now, well, now that they're faced with the same sort of um racist i guess you can say behavior now it's a problem but it's like this is what you guys have been doing all right so nick's rule or law would be that there could be no more karen type behavior no more karenism yeah so anytime you see (laughs) these videos people just acting out and for no reason uh none, none of that now you will be arrested and prosecuted in under Nick's new law. Not even prosecutors, just straight to fucking doing time. Yep, straight straight to, to no, no, no wasting no tax money on that whole... On a trial or nothing. No, like, okay. your, your name's Karen, you're proven guilty right there. <laughs> oh, we believe in due process. Question, question three. Are you a lover or a fighter, Nick? I think Ooh. both. <laughs> Whoa, I love, love to fight. What? <laughs> <laughs> I'm both. He loves ask, to fight. Ask Mercedes, I'm both. Okay, I'm both. so... Okay, if you had to only pick one. 
Um, I think where I am in my life right now, I love her. Hey, hell yeah. He's a lover. Spreading yeah. love throughout the world. Man. My back hurts. Yeah. <laughs> my back. <laughs> Misa's like, I'm, choo- I'm choosing love only because my back hurts or else I'd still be out there yeah, fighting. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Okay, question four. Hey, just take my wallet, bro. You don't have to punch me. <laughs> question four. <laughs> I'm broke anyways. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that credit card's not going to pass anyway, bro. Get out of here. Missed a payment <laughs> last month. <laughs> All right, can I get my coupons back though? <laughs> Question four: Do you lie to the dentist when he asks if you've been flossing daily? Nah, uh, I even told him that too. What? I was like, no, there's no way. And he's like, no, dude, I floss every day. Like you guys know those little flosser toothpick, like those two are my in one favorite. things. Yes. Yo, like I have to have them. Oh. I have to, dude. I leave them everywhere. Mercy gets so oh. pissed. Yeah, I- <laughs> I have to use those every single day. Like every single it's day. like a full-on chicken leg just stuck in one of them, <laughs> like laying on the floor. <laughs> Mom is. Yeah, really? Hey. Oh, yeah, Auntie does do that. Hey, do you, uh, do you floss me, sir? Uh, you know what? Not as much as I should, man, to be honest, bro. But hey. um, real quick, I have seen – I have – I follow um, Steve-O from Jackass. He has a podcast as well. Hey. And um, he, he sometimes puts up a video of, of just random stuff, and he put up a video of – like one of his most embarrassing stuff and it was about his teeth he always had some jacked up teeth and and he kept saying like if i if one thing in my life that i could do to go back and he's done a lot of crazy shit if you think about it Fuck and it. the number one thing for him was to floss every yeah. single day so <laughs> you know like that like that little stuff like that i was like oh shit dude and uh, I that's what he wants flossing. to go back and change that, that dude i just floss. finished flossing so i was like dude i need to go floss right now oh well, that's ridiculous i don't think you yeah, but see, the difference, too, is, like... I've the- seen the episode where they, like, staple his balls sack oh, yeah. somewhere to they the wall. They pierce his ass cheeks. Yeah, they pierce his ass cheeks. <laughs> I'm sure he regrets some of that stuff, too. God bless. Well, this- God I guess God. in the long run, because, I don't know, man. I mean, you'll get a scar from that, but that's it. But, you know, you fuck up. Your- <laughs> you'll get a scar from your like ass it's done. Cheek. You'll be fine. <laughs> okay. Question five. Okay. Um, and, actually, I kind of want... I think I want all of us to answer this one just to see where we would be at. What's a uh, question? Uh, Holy shit. Jesus fucking Christ. Dude, God like, God dude. Jesus. Okay. So you, you have to choose one. There's three options. Option one, $5,000 cash, but you got to do one week in prison. Option two, $50,000 cash, but you got to do three months in prison. Or... Option three, one million dollars cash, but six months six months in prison. Which one are you going for, Nick? It's just six oh, months. Easy, man. For me, it's gonna be one mil, dude. I and mean, you guys are going go to big or go home. No, actually, go big and you get to go home. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Fuck it. If, if you come out of there alive, bro. It's like, hey, girl, I'll be back in six months. I'll probably I... come back ripped with tattoos you and shit. One cigarette for ten bucks, bro. Like <laughs> <Fucking> blue. <laughs> hey, blue, blue, saying, man, he'd take it all the way too, right? Go a mil, okay. one mil. Okay. Everybody on the podcast is choosing six months in prison for a million dollars. Is that what I'm getting here, Lena? Yeah, I, yeah. I mean, I mean honestly, I mean, I just like. You're telling me that spend like giving away my fucking freedom for a fucking week for only five thousand bucks, then yeah, I would obviously go for like the bigger fucking reward, which is a million, but I don't know, I guess six months. Yeah. It, it it makes sense, man. You're not gonna have a job or anything that's gonna give you, you know, a million dollars in six months. You get ripped, you know, you know like fuck. Yeah, so over here, hey, you get fed, you know, you're indoors all day, you, I mean, make, you get to rich. make friends. You know, like you get to work out with them. You you might see some action at the same time. My staff like pool. All right, so just so you guys know, you get- what, I, what I've set up is I've been in talks with the production company, and they want to send us to prison for six months and pay us a million dollars. So it looks like you That'd guys all agreed to that. So that's what's coming up, you guys. So no. shout out. Hey, to I'd be down. I'm taking top bunk. Hey, well, you don't get to. You don't get to do that, bro. <laughs> We're gonna put you in a prison with some guy who's been there for maybe fifteen years, and now you have to deal with. It. Yeah, whatever, Chris. <laughs> okay, so Chris would be the first one to quit, dude. I'm not gonna, dude. I'm not down to be locked up for six months, dude. Fuck that, dude. A million dollars for six months, dude. 
Uh, I don't know, bro. Those six easy months money, bro. Suck, well, yeah. maybe. I mean, you, you might not survive those six months you knowing you, Chris. not survive those six months. No, knowing you, you you're the one Fuck that likes no. to fight. Mother- Dude, look at your arms. What are you talking about? <laughs> what does that have to do with anything? <laughs> what you- Dude, hey, I'm in hey. there being like a legal, like, like consulate to all these guys. People will love me in there. They're like, very people. <laughs> they hate you. They'd be like, it's because of you I'm in here? No, no, no. Do you I'd, work for this? I'd, no, I'd be in there giving them legal advice, bro. I'd be in there like, yo, that's what you gotta do. <laughs> now what? You shouldn't have fucked up, bro. Yeah, that's what I'll tell them. And then Misa would be in there, like, fighting every day at lunch for his... Hey, sp- running that shit. It would be because of me that you get to <laughs> eat, boy. You know, fucking green beans or whatever. For a piece of bread. Yeah, he'd be throwing <laughs> hands of bread every week. <laughs> Then, hey Nick, go step on Chris real quick. <laughs> Show him some discipline. Knock his ass out real quick. <laughs> right? Bam. All right. So let's finish up this podcast, guys. We got one more question for Nick. It's a bonus question. Lena has one comment to make. No, I'm the bonus question. Oh, you can ask the bonus the question. Bonus okay. question. Okay. Lena's gonna ask the bonus question. That's, okay. it, that's your part. That's my part. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> We're all just playing our roles here, guys. So um Lena, can you uh hit Nick with the bonus question here? One word to describe your life, and you can't say blessed. That's like the most basic one. Huh? That's the most basic ass. Uh, ass. Haters. Basic is, I have a tattoo. Like, <laughs> you have okay. a tattoo that says blessed. Yeah. You're truly blessed. I have oh. uh, <laughs> the bird. <laughs> the birds that go into a feather. Talk about oh, basic. Okay. Yeah, oh, yeah, that's basic. <laughs> or just the feather. Like, yes, yes. Tattoos are basic. I didn't even uh, know I was basic till a couple months later. I think I'm just gonna say happy. Happy. That's yeah. A good one. I'm just, I'm I'm happy right now. You look happy, bro. Okay. Looking at you right, oh. now. right now. I'm <laughs> smiling. Hey man, but I'm glad that you're happy, bro. Especially in these times of days, man. Like no joke. Yeah, um, weird. it's good to hear people being happy and and uh, kind of moving on and trying to work shit out because it's yeah, definitely bad times. And there's a lot of people out there that are having a hard time. You know, um, luckily, you know, me, you, Chris, Lena, we're, we're doing okay. We're still working and shit. Yeah. But um, there's there's people out there that I know that are struggling, man. But keep y'all's heads up, all right? If if Nick if Nick can do it and if Chris can survive, y'all can too. <laughs> if Chris can survive, you can do it. Bro, if yeah. I can survive, you guys could do more than survive, bro. I'm Asthmatic you. ass. You guys should be millionaires by this point. So, anyways, uh. We're going to go ahead and wrap up this podcast. This was episode 33 of Conversing with Chris and Misa. Um, guys, make sure to go uh, subscribe to our YouTube page. Follow us on Facebook. Like us on Instagram. Apple Podcasts, rate, review. Uh, please, please do that. We would greatly appreciate it. Uh, now we're going to go ahead and give our final thoughts, and we'll wrap this shit up. Lena, final thoughts on today's podcast. <clears throat> you know I love you. so thank you for spending time with us um i mean honestly yeah of course chris and i miss you 100 percent. we spent a lot of time with nick the past i guess that's the cool thing about being with chris is that i'm exposed to all these different people just because well let's let's show on the exposed word right now oh yeah Yeah, let's not use expose He, he introduces me to a lot of different people um and i don't know i'm just really blessed to have you a part of my life definitely definitely glad it's kind of funny to like look back and think like we've gone to Moyardi together we've gone to concerts together you know like you've spent so much time with us at the house or at the apartments like it's definitely good to have you here Misa final thoughts on today's podcast yeah um well thanks Nick man uh um (laughs) Chris had always talked he's talked a lot about you and um and and it's rare when we when we just stop what we're doing and and start recording, and um you know that that just means a lot knowing that uh that um you're close to Chris man and and also dude it's also you're you're um you're a very special guy because you're our first guest in this whole thing episode one man being on there with Chris when his first thing started so uh, you'd always be that number one guest so shout out to you Nick shout out um. To Chris and Lena, it's always a good one, guys. And uh, everybody listening, thank you for the support, guys. Hey, uh, just so you guys know, in the audience today, we've had our special friend Blue hanging out. So uh, yeah, 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 Blue, Blue, hey, Blue, Blue you been here. Some uh, final thoughts on this podcast. Final you? thoughts on this podcast, Blue, that you saw so far. Uh, wait, 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 Blue. Pretty drunk right now. That's all I gotta say. <laughs> 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 hey, great, contrib- great, great okay. contribution. That's all okay. we needed. We don't need more than that. <laughs> but at the same time, thank you for just hanging out with us. Yeah, of course. Thank you guys for having me. Blue, that was perfect, bro. That's exactly what I wanted. Just straight to the point. <laughs> I love it. 
Okay, Nick, final thoughts real fast. You know, I think we had constant laughs. Constant today. laughs. Yeah. I think so, it was a good episode. Yeah. It's good to be back. It's like just us hanging out. Yeah, fuck yeah. I mean, what's it been since November? Since I've been here? It's been a while, bro. Been for sure. Here, so. So Thank you, guys. All right, guys. So this is episode 33, Conversing with Chris and me to the podcast. Nick, thank you very much for joining us on this episode. <laughs> Thanks, uh, shout out to all the supporters, all the listeners. You guys are what drives us to keep getting better and better at this. Um, yes, like I said, yes. uh, show your friends, show your family. Uh, we're on all the socials, guys. It's really easy to find us. Uh, show you your dog. Show your dog, show your cat, <laughs> show your fish. Oh, man. I just. I mean, we're not vegetarians, but we love all animals. So Nick told me a secret, and I think I've got to um, not expose. I don't even know another word. Stop just expose. Expose word. <laughs> Jesus. The no, no, no. He was making me laugh because he told me that he'll fall asleep listening to podcasts, and he felt like. <laughs> oh, he felt like we attacked him. He yeah. felt like yeah. I got triggered. I got really triggered. Hey, have- that's good. Hey, uh, really, really quick. Uh, a really uh, quick shout out because that just reminded me. Um, it's good to run into people that you haven't seen in a while, but that are that are fans of our podcast. Um, the other day, I ran into an old friend I used to work with at the mall. At security, his name is uh, Eriberto Parra. Um, so shout out to him, man, because I saw him over at Walmart. I was just going in there, and he stopped me, and and um, he he gave us a he gave he he told me pretty much that he listens to it, you know, while he's at work. And uh, he enjoys it, and uh, he's looking forward to more episodes. So that right there made me feel happy, um, knowing that it's bringing entertainment. It's bringing, you know, people are liking it. So shout out to Eddie, bro. Thanks, man. Thanks for listening. And um, yeah, man. Thanks, thanks again, Nick, Lena, Chris. Good shit, guys. All right, guys. So yes, that this is gonna be the end of episode thirty-three. Like I said, um, shout out to everybody who's been listening and supporting us. Um, that's gonna be it for us today, guys. We are (laughs) out. Peace. Good shit. Good shit. Good fucking shit, boys. Perfect. Good shit to 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 fucking to to get it in the last minute, dude. It's good, man. Yeah, dude. I told you. Honestly, it wouldn't have worked out if if uh, you wouldn't have this relationship with Nick. Just because we we kept that flow going. Yo, that was a good episode. I liked it. Yeah. Everyone laughed. That's what I liked about it. Yeah, look, even Blue's over there. He was laughing. Yeah. He was. Soon enough, man. Once we do, once we start doing this shit in in person, um, Blue's gonna get on this shit. Hey, tell him. We'll have to get him drunk first. (laughs) Yeah. We gotta get him completely wasted first. Yeah. Gotta get that white girl.